but a viral video which has debunked many of the Prime Minister's statements has now reached more than 25 million views. Let's have a look. We have cut CO2 emissions in this country since 2010 on 1990 levels by 42%. 42%. That is an astonishing achievement. Well, it would be if it were true, but it's just another lie. CO2 emissions fell by 39% between 1990 and 2018. Not from 2010 onwards. Under this Conservative government has grown by 73%. Another lie. In the period since 2010 and prior to the pandemic, it was about 20%. The 73% he's referring to is for the whole period since 1990, 13 years of which was under Labour governments. We restored the nurses' bursary. Another lie. A maintenance grant for student nurses is not a return of the student nurses' bursary. Thanks to the Conservative government scrapping the nurses' bursary, they still have to pay extortionate tuition fees and still qualify tens of thousands of pounds in debt. And ensure there will be a free hospital car parking for everybody who attends a hospital. Just another lie. OK, well, that was Peter Stefanovic, um, who is a lawyer and campaigner. Um, and we're going to talk to him uh, right now, alongside Andrew Jimson, who is Boris Johnson's biographer. Um, so very good morning to you both. Peter Stavanovich, that's quite a litany of uh, claims made by the Prime Minister in the House of Commons, which you say you can debunk and are uh, actually disputed, or in your words, lies. Um, Dominic Cummings, who worked closely with him, seems to suggest that the voters aren't that bothered. They like him anyway. I think, uh, hi Susanna, hi, hi Alistair. Um, I, think, I think that the um, astonishing um, reaction from the public to my film actually demonstrates that the public really do care about um, the, the almost rampant lying that we are witnessing in Parliament at the moment. And the film itself appears to have become a, a public protest at um, the, 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 the outright lies that we're being seen told on the floor of the House um, practically every week. And it's the public themselves that have driven this film to over 25 million views in protest. Now, everything that I say um, in, in uh, my film has been carefully fact-checked by various sources. Um, and so what the Prime Minister is saying there um, is provably false. Um, what you didn't see in the film was the clip, for instance, of um, uh, Boris Johnson standing on the floor of the House at the dispatch box, telling MPs that relative poverty has declined under the Conservative government. And that's an appalling thing to say. I mean, even Larry the Cat knows that relative poverty has increased by hundreds of thousands. He's also seen... Oh, Peter, that's um, not true. How do you know that Larry the, the Cat knows uh, that? Okay. The ministerial code says that if a member of parliament inadvertently makes a false statement to parliament, they've got to come back and create the parliamentary record. So if we were to, by some stretch of the imagination, say that the prime minister simply doesn't know what he's talking about in parliament and he's making mistakes over and over again with his statistics and his facts, the ministerial code says that he must come back and correct the parliamentary record. And if he doesn't do that, then he's broken the, the, the um, okay. ministerial code. Okay, Peter. Now, breaking the ministerial code is a really, really serious <laughs> matter. It <laughs> used to be a resigning matter. Peter, okay, I want to come, I want to bring in Andrew Jimson. Andrew, you know Boris Johnson better than we do. Um, and I mean, Peter has got a point there. When I was working with Tony Blair and Gordon Brown and other prime ministers and ministers in, in a Labour government, if you broke the ministerial code, then you were in real trouble. And not telling the truth at the dispatch box is a breach of the ministerial code. So has Boris Johnson just decided, as Susanna's saying, that because the public don't seem to care that much, telling the truth doesn't matter? No, telling the truth in Parliament matters enormously. There's an excellent speaker, Lindsay Hoyle, who will, will uphold that. No checks, no border, over my dead body. He then did the deal, with the checks, and even after that said, there will be no checks, there are no checks. And now we know there are, and there's chaos 
um, potential upheaval of a really serious nature. Now, uh, that is a lie. It was wishful thinking. <sighs> You've presumably watched Peter Stefanovic's video. I have. With, with this list of statements that Peter says are lies, told at the dispatch box by the Prime Minister of this country, who is supposed to uphold those standards, uh, how would you defend them? I'm writing a book about Boris Johnson, and, and uh, only this week I looked at what he said in Downing Street when he became Prime Minister, and also what he said uh, at the general election. And he said he would get Brexit done, and he was telling the truth, he did. And actually that's what voters notice. They don't notice... Uh, they know that he's... They're, they're not, they're not, they're not, they're not, they're not Andrew, employing him. the but, principle of telling the truth? Well, of course, the principle of telling the truth is very, very important, but there are big truths. So you like mentioned whether the whole... Okay. Yeah. Andrew, I just want to hear you <laughs> finish a point. So well, how so, do you defend Something had to give. That? He wasn't going to get a break. No border, and, and, there's a, and there are checks. Well, there are checks in one direction. Um, uh, stuff that goes from Northern Ireland to the mainland, no checks. So, Hold on a minute, but the, the, it, what is happening now in Northern Ireland is in direct contradiction to what he promised and to what he said he had signed up to. The Irish problem or question was completely insoluble in logical terms, and he oversold it. I completely agree with that. But anyone who took these assurances at face value wanted to be deceived. Uh, anyone who took these assurances at face value wanted to be deceived. Uh, Peter Stavanovich, what do you think of yes, what? Please, what do you think thank of what? You, thank what you, you so of... much for bringing me back in here. Look, um, I'm sure Andrew is a terribly, terribly nice guy, but but what he's saying, he literally wants me, me to tear my own eyeballs out. I mean, we've all seen the interview <laughs> please don't, please. Um, that Boris Johnson did um, with Sophie Ridge, and Sophie Ridge looked Boris Johnson in the eye and said, "Okay, so you're telling me your Brexit secretary is wrong, your own impact assessment." is wrong business leaders are wrong everyone is wrong and you are right there will be no checks on this going from great britain to northern Ireland. and he looked her in the eye and said yes i'm right everyone else is wrong there will be no checks now this isn't a man who isn't paying attention to detail that was a serious bare-faced lie now i you know, i look at my parents who i don't have any with me anymore sadly and when i think about them i remember their stoic honesty you know, they would never lie, they would never deceive, they would never mislead. And I believe that the majority of people in this country feel the same way. And that's why so many people have driven this film of mine to 25 million, because people do care. People do care about lying. Most of us are right. I wouldn't lie, you wouldn't lie. I don't expect our parliamentarians to do it either. Andrew, are you basically saying that politics is all about white lies? No, I'm, but there is a, palpably a, a large element of deception. Do you have to tell the truth about the deal that you've done? Well, of course you should try to tell the try truth. To tell about, so on, so on, that on is the ministerial code now, every... we should try to tell the truth? Yes, of course you should, but okay. uh, fallibility is actually a human characteristic, Correct, Esther, and you won't yeah. find any human who is infallible. Well, it's, Not even you. It, it's, it's a that. brilliant I debate and we appreciate uh, your company, Andrew Jimson, Peter Stefanovic. Thanks very Thank much. You. Thank you, Peter. Indeed.